Hello, guys. What I'm going to address this morning again is I did probably about three years ago. I have a video on here about a Harley ignition coil, your dual fire and your single fire, how to test them. Okay, there's a man on here. He thinks he's more intelligent than me. He's a classic definition of a dumbass. Because I explained this to the idiot like three years ago. Okay, he has a 93 Electrum. And then he's got these other people that he calls his favorite uh, sites that are supposed to be Harley mechanics and ask for their advice. But he's got a voltmeter, ohmmeter combo. You know, you can get those for like 10 bucks nowadays. And I've got a video on those too, even showing how to test your Harley battery and uh, your automotive battery. All right, on a coil, he takes the coil off of the 93 electric glide, you know, Okay, that's, that has a evolution engine. And then he's using an ohmmeter to test the spark plug wires and the coil. People, people. You know, I can't believe a person could be a dumbass like that. And nobody points this out in the comments in his uh, video at all. Here's one of my calls. I took this uh, off of one of my twin cam Harleys, you know, early 2000s model. You know, or I could put this on an Evo, you know. Uh, what this is, it's a um, single fire. It's called a single fire, which a lot of people get it mixed up with the dual fire. Single fire means you have two calls in one pack here. One fires and then the other fires. Okay, a dual fire is like uh, the older shovel heads had into where both spark plugs fire at the same time. This dumbass is actually using a dual fire on an Evo engine. I mean, I cannot believe that. That is so damn stupid, but, <laughs> you know, I mean, shit. You can, uh, an intelligent mechanic would even convert the shovel head to uh, a uh, single fire call, you know, from a dual fire. Because it makes more sense. You don't get backfiring through the carburetor that way. But, um, dumbass is, takes the call off the bike in the plug wires and he's testing with an owner. Oh, I'm not getting any reading. <laughs> dumbass here's how you do that if you think you have a firing problem you know you're not getting any fire you simply you know all you have to do there is just um, okay take a, a spark plug any, any spark plug any Harley owner they should have new uh, spark plugs, at least two spark plugs handy all the time. So if they're out on the road or just at the grocery store, they can change their spark plug. Take a spark plug with the, while the coal is still on the bike and the wires are still on it. Push a spark plug into one of the wires, okay? Or pull the other one off so the bike doesn't start on one cylinder. Turn the bike over. Okay, here's what you ought to be getting. A blue spark. A blue spark is what you should be getting. A blue spark. All right, if you're getting a red spark, okay, that would be due to your, your wiring that goes to your call would be weaker. You know, you need to strengthen the ground and, uh, you know, check, check your wiring, you know, that goes to your call. But it's so easy to do. You know, anybody rolls up on their Harley. 
Oh man, I think my call's bad. What I'm going to do is just take a spark plug and put in one of the wires, pull the other one off, and if it's getting a blue spark, I'm going to say, nope, it's not your call, it's not your plug wire. Why would I need to take the call off and then um, take a voltmeter and put it to, for, for the ohms and check the ohms in it or the spark plug wire? Why, why would I need to do that? That's stupid. That's stupid, man. <laughs> you just put a plug, you know, in one of the wires. Turn the engine over. You know, if your wiring is good, it's going to give a blue spark. If it doesn't give a spark at all, okay, again, why use an O-meter on the damn call? It's just the um, hot wire, ignition wire that goes to the coil. Take it. Don't even take it off. Go to that point. Use a tail slide on it to see if you're getting voltage. If you're getting voltage, you, you can check the volt amount that is coming through, okay, with your voltmeter. You know, you got a ground thin <laughs> and a positive thin. Man, I'll tell you what, and uh, people like that, you know, this man, he thinks he's more intelligent than me. He's the idiot of the damn century. He's an idiot, man. He's an idiot. <laughs> oh, my God. But, but anyway, this is instruction for you guys. Uh, never mind my indifference with, with a mindless man out there that thinks he's a genius. <laughs> you know, but... Uh, you know, if you think your call is bad, put it, uh, pull the plug wires off, put a new plug in each one, turn the engine over. Uh, the spark should be blue. If it's not blue, you've got problems. But if it's red, the call's still good. Check the ignition wire that goes to the coil. Okay? That's all there is to it. It's very simple. Why take the call off and check the ohms, you see? Why do that? Now, I might do that if I had a box of old used calls and I needed to change a call on her. I'd say, oh, let me check the uh, ohms on this call, you know. Maybe in that instance. But if the call's already on the damn bike, why would I take it off and check the ohms on it? Why the hell would I do that? Why not just put a plug in one of the uh, plug wires and turn the engine over and see if you're getting a blue spark? Because see, if you're getting a blue spark, that's the best you're going to get. I don't care what somebody's own test tells them. If you're getting a blue spark, you're not going to get better than that. You're never going to beat that, okay? But anyway, this is Earl. Good luck to y'all. Looks like, man, we're headed for a beautiful day here. A beautiful, beautiful day. And uh, everything's working out for me, God bless. You know, I had to kick back, uh, you know, an ugly family member that I haven't spoken to for like 30 years. You know, you know a narcissistic person that's a liar, whatever you know, uh, day before yesterday. Uh, well, anyway, have a good day, and remember, Jesus Christ is the answer. And uh, because I'm a believer in Jesus Christ, there is a such thing as righteous anger. When people mistreat you, and they say bad things about you, you have the right to speak up and say they are an idiot when they are an idiot especially when you've gone to them with good advice in the past. But anyway, all of you have a great day.